Good afternoon, Arctic Warriors. I'm Cadet Wallach, and today we're going to move on to the second installation of how to tie knots. Today, we're going to learn how to tie up a one rope bridge. Why one rope? Because we forgot to bring two. Here's your situation. You and your squad are stuck on this side of a massive river or ravine. The first step to getting across this ravine safely is to tie a bowlin to your near side tree. There's several different ways to tie this bowlin. I'm going to do it this way because in our first installation of how to tie knots, this is the method I taught. So you're going to start with this overhand loop. The overhand side is going to go around the tree and end up in your other hand. You'll then take this loose end and go up through that loop you just made. Once you've gone up through that loop you just made, you're going to go around this near side rope and go back into the loop you just made. So you're not quite finished yet. To make sure that this knot doesn't come untied, you're going to tie a safety knot. To tie the safety knot, you're going to take this loose end and go around the, loop, the rope it is connected to and tie a simple overhand knot about it. This just keeps the rope out of the way to make sure this doesn't get loose. Next, one member of your squad is going to take the other end of the rope and run or swim across this massive ravine. The squad member on the far side will now tie a bowline with a safety knot similar to that was, was tied on the near side. When the squad member on the far side yells the code word, FISH STICKS! The near side can then untie the bowl and attach to their tree. After the bullen has been untied, you will move approximately six or seven feet away from the near side tree and tie a figure eight slip knot on a bite. To tie the figure eight slip knot on a bite, you're going to start it out like a regular figure eight knot. One loop, turn it 180 degrees, and you're going to take a loop from this loose end and stick it up through there. You're not going to pull the end of the rope through. You will then take this running end that's going around your near side tree and make another loop and put it over that loop you just made. Pulling everything tight, you've made a figure eight on a bike. You will then take one of your carabiners and clip it to this loop. A squad member on the near side will then take the rope, run around the tree, and clip it in to the carabiner. And what you have successfully done is created a pulley so that you can pull this rope as tight as possible. Now, your squad, or if you're like me and have super strength, will pull this rope as tight as possible straight back. Yes. One more time. Oh, yeah, perfect. Who are you people? Uh... Anyway, after your squad has pulled it sufficiently tight, You'll then pin the rope to the tree, and the squad will begin wrapping around the tree one time. Notice that the ropes do not overlap. You'll then move on to tying two half hitches. Tying two half hitches around both of these ropes right here one, to tighten them, and two, to make sure that this thing doesn't come undone. So to start out, you're going to take your coiled loop and throw it over the top. You will then take all of that rope and feed it through the big loop you just made. Sliding this knot as close to the tree as possible, you're going to pull this part very tight. You will then do the same thing, but in this this time, you will only throw over a piece of rope, like a loop like this, and you will feed that through the loop you just made. What you've done here is created 
a quick release. So when it comes time to untying this, you simply pull on this and the whole knot comes untied. Squad members will then shoot me across. last squad member to cross will untie everything, swim across or run across the ravine. Once they get to the other side, the bowlin on the far side will be untied and once the rope is completely laid out flat with no loops or no knots, you have completed a one rope bridge. And that's a wrap folks. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to seek out myself or any of your knowledgeable upperclassmen.